Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to Nessie Patrons video, the first of the year which I am making for Alan Sun as part of their custom monthly music review. And if we switch over to here, we have ourselves the track on YouTube, no, not on YouTube, on Spotify, what am I talking about? Slow start to the year. Um, we've got ourselves a track by Pooh Shu titled The Years of Innocence and we have lyrics kindly provided by Alan Sun, so thank you very much for that. And uh, we're going to listen to this track from start to finish, and uh, we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. I like the pluck strings with the woodwind. That's a gorgeous combination, isn't it? Very charming. Really warm. Even without like knowing the, the lyrics and what they mean, with the years of innocence and the warmth on those guitar parts, the calmness and sincerity with the vocals, makes me feel as if this is someone recanting their youth and I, I adore it. Great use of slides on those guitar parts, actually. I like the use of panning here. They've got a real extreme kind of, or just like extreme left. Distorted overdriven guitar that's nice and crispy on that side. And the other side, they've got little plucks going on. It's incredible use of sound design. I adore when bands do this because it's it's just, they're cognizant of the possibilities of, of technology now with audio engineering. We're not just saying, oh, just put it to 100 and whatever, you know, we're, we're pushing it. That's great. Reverse takes with the flux. Is this a 6 8? 1 and 2 and 3 and it's definitely 6 8, isn't it? It's an interesting time signature. Um, like that kick, kick, snare flow there is not something I come across often. It's more like a waltz through time, isn't it? Phenomenal dynamic range as well. Can you hear the little in the in the background and that that sort of like that low section? We understand the importance of not just throwing the entirety of the arrangement and accompaniment at you at once as a listener. You know, there's sublays, there's depth. Is that a kid vocalist? Because that's a great choice there, if that's the case. Great contrast to the main vocals. Is that a piano on the right side now, replacing the crispy texture on the left? Because if that's the case, that's sensational. And we're just getting these little bits point by point, you know, point by point. I'm, I, I mean, I, I just, I just, I'm blown away by it. I'm stoked. Really pleasant and uh, interesting to listen to.
this snare drum there that that push you know that is a hell of a hell of a vibe because you got this wonderful situation where there's these musicians they know that they can have a snare sound just to know but they go because they know that it has a more more um presence that way they're oh it's so cool dude the sounds that they're using the textures and the effects are so wonderful and they don't have to go that hard but they are not half-assing it and i'm thankful for that fushu um are a band that i'm really starting to learn to um appreciate i'm thankful for being having the opportunity to listen to them beautiful choir beautiful choir man lovely clarity and Pristine. Everyone together. Hey, this is like, eh? Let's put me in a good mood. I hope the lyrics aren't sad, because that would be um, typical. <laughs> Yep, good choice. Good choice. There's almost something bohemian about the way that we're doing these guitar lines here. They roll between these interesting major and minor triads that uh, they, they should be clashy, but they don't. They, they kind of roll towards a sort of weird, f quirky neutrality that uh, keep things natural even when they probably shouldn't. Going back out with this theme here that was with the plucked instruments and the woodwind. Hey. And that's just the clock, isn't it? I'm very interested to hear what this track is about, and I'm so glad because I said this in the first review I did today. I didn't really feel like doing music reviews today. I was like, I was having a lazy day today, but I was like, nope, Logan, you gotta, you gotta do some music reviews. You gotta be reviewing some music for people. You gotta review music, and I'm so glad I did. So thank you to Ellenson for this wonderful suggestion. I genuinely enjoyed it. I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, I definitely can. The Years of Innocence by Pooh Shu. Prelude of our story was in the earlier springs. Streets were serene and cozy, clock ticked lazily. Life hadn't disappointed me, I was carefree. So that's a really powerful sentence. It's saying, when I was a child, I wasn't disappointed by the world yet. I had everything in front of me and I could enjoy and celebrate it. Love hadn't dawned on me, the side of you I flipped. And then there was like a love interest or something like that and I kept it a secret. Did they ever act on that? Oh no. Drifted by apart by this wandering life. So I suppose they were together for a point but then things just separated them. Bitter is this life with such weary miles into memories I dive. At reticence I sigh. Is life full of hurt and pressure? You know. Trying to tell me the story of your life. Laughter will bring tears that shine. Is life full of hurt and pressure or treasure and pleasure? Dude. <laughs> Fuck, this makes me, it's, it, excuse the, excuse the language, like, it's be, such beautiful lyricism there, man, like, life is full of everything you could possibly imagine, dude, it's all of it, and I don't know, maybe I'm getting older now and a bit more sentimental, but I, I read through these and I, I genuinely feel as if, it's, it's everything there, man, you will get hurt, it will be stressful, and you, you're gonna have to do your best to treasure the happiness that you feel and make the most of those wonderful situations and to not take them for granted. Oh no, so things got corrupted, changed from sweet to sour. Have you got what you desired and let the devil take over? Has there been someone else who makes you a dreamer? Gusty wind swept by with your flow and high vicissitudes have dimmed pure looks in our eyes. But life's reached the twilight and refused to rewind. Damn, no, 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 man, no, I don't like it. That is so sad. Cause this is my conclusion of this SP Patrons video of the Years of Innocence by Pushu. Track number 11. Um, My Lord, we've got ourselves a track today, haven't we? 
So I was listening to this song and it sounded so nice and peaceful with like the kid chanting and the strings and the guitar parts and the, you know the lack of really strong percussion aside from those little sort of sampled sort of uh, filtered parts at the end that went into the time ticking by. I, I was thinking man this song is going to be about something really kind of happy memories and stuff but no this song is about realizing how good you had it when you were a kid and looking at what you had then and the connections you you made and now things are here and we're going back and we're realizing that the twilight had already been we're at the twilight and that the good times had already come and that's brutal that that is a brutal thing to come to terms with is that for a lot of people the best times of their life would literally have been back when they were a kid that a being an adult was hard how being a teenager is brutally difficult you know at times it's it's wild you know and i think that this is really important subject matter for pushu to write music about i think that the lyrics are like the extra bit of context that really gives you the gravity of how phenomenal a songwriter and lyricist this band that they're, they're so incredible with what they do and the vocals as well are so soothing and sweet that it almost seems criminal that it is something this bittersweet. I adore the fact that we've got someone who cares this much about the listener that they're going to tell them a story that like that. They don't. They they still have a love and a care for the world, but it's almost like they they understand that the world that it's it's just tough. They're mature. They're a wise old sage. And the irony is, is that the, the person that's singing this doesn't sound too old. Like they sound like they're being there like 30s at the latest. It's incredible that they are that they are at this level. They're easily one of the best bands that I've heard from this part of the world, especially within this genre of music. And I adore them to pieces. And I think this is the song that really got me interested in them. And I'm thankful to be listening to it today. The vocals were sensational. There was no notes missed. Uh, great control of the head and chest voice. The delivery emotionally. The performance made sense with the lyrics. I like the use of like the kids singing in the background there to sort of emphasize more of the childhood and the focus and look back on that as we went along. Especially as we came to the conclusion that that time as a kid, those memories were what made us truly happy and. And they were when we had that golden sort of light nature within ourselves before it turned from sweet to sour. I, I think it's it's such a classy way of contemplating philosophy within this track. Like there's a million and one ways to sound like an absolute hack when you talk about this stuff. But but Pushu, they don't sound like that at all. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful song. And I would recommend anyone, even if you don't necessarily understand the language like natively, to and to listen through this because I think you'll enjoy it as much as I did. And then you'll look through the lyrics and be like, wow, this is next level. So phenomenal work. Um, the instrumental thing behind it with the six, eight time signature with the lack of really hard percussion allowing the softness of those strings and woodwinds at the start, those plucked strings and woodwinds that start to transition into the guitar parts with the vocals there. And the occasional shimmer of like the crispy distortion on the left, the piano on the right, and the occasional sort of da -da -da -da, those little sort of like traditional harps and everything as we go along it's it's so it's so wonderful it's so weirdly uplifting in a way even despite the heaviness and the sageness of the story being told it's a it's a tricky situation and that that's music that is the best the best music is complicated it's um in my opinion anyways i think the best music is complicated there's more than meets the eye there's multiple layers to it uh there was not a note out of place i like the minimalism with the performance in general i like the fact that we instead of trying to put too much on one or two instruments we allocated little bits to lots of different sounds we put it nice and wide in the headphones i suppose although that's more of a mixing and mastering thing a post-production thing but at the same time i think it's also worth noting that they did that Right, they did that with with the choice of the arrangement of the instruments as well, notching them in various points of the frequency spectrum. And it's like the simple things like with the, ma the main vocalist and then the kid being an octave up, you know what I mean? And them harmonizing then coming back in with the choir later on. It's just, it's Fundamentals 101 that's been just, you know, the expect I, I'm so happy after listening to this. And I suppose maybe I can relate to it, even though I'd argue personally that I had a better adulthood in many respects than I did as a kid and especially as a teenager I still look back and I think wow 
maybe things are a little bit easier than that but um length of it at 434 is thoroughly justified there was no filler whatsoever and i think the story needed time to allow itself to kind of continue and kind of to grow and i think that having the instrumental with the the, the child vocals coming in at the end was an absolute masterstroke and having the ticking at the end for the last 10 seconds as time goes by it's very sobering um, even the little things, the simple things. Uh, having the start and finish end with the plug strings and the woodwind with that similar theme there is like a big bell curve across the song. And uh, it's honestly like wonderful. It's a really great song. I've, I've got lots of love for it. Really interesting uh, that the theme itself, just as a final comment before we move on to the mixing and mastering, the production side of things. The theme itself was somber and caring and it refused to really go in any sort of direction aside from I, I guess a weird sort of playfulness there, a calmness, a chillness is in, despite the, the frustration and other complicated emotions we might be feeling when we are writing or listening to those lyrics. The recording, mixing and mastering is spectacular. It was nice and loud without pumping, but when I say nice and loud, not that it was like forcibly, perceivably loud, it was just nicely balanced. I think it was as loud as it needed to be for a track which had this much phenomenal dynamic range. I adore the sub layers of it volume wise, but to kind of do it in a more sort of traditional, sort of typical way. The vocals were recorded wonderfully, fantastically. Absolutely no issues with those, nice and uh, raw and filled and EQ so that they had a great presence within the rest of the mix alongside the child vocals which were an octave up nice and with pant EQ'd with like a, a high pass just a little bit higher than the other vocalists might have um, but I think they had a great sort of natural sort of resonance anyways not just with the panning of the various kid vocalists in that last part but also because of the fact that we had this sensational situation with the male vocalist in the center where like they just contrast because of different note choices and octave uh, those octave harmonies are great uh, the, everything, the, the, the panning, the stereo panning of these instruments was incredible. It was so wide, like you think things were surrounding you with the guitars and all those other parts of the vocals after the plucked uh, strings and the woodwinds came out, but then you have the shook shooks on the, le the right side and then the, 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 the kind of sizzly bits on the left and then the pianos, and it's like you're being surrounded by the music and it's phenomenal use of the stereo field. I don't, it's very rare that I get this much going on there. There are some artists I've listened to recently which take advantage of that, but I still think it's something that you really need to pay attention to because there are a million bands and musicians out there writing great songs so you've got to figure out some way to just make it that little bit extra so that it stands out and poof you have done it they've nailed it not just by the songwriting the vocal performance the instrumental performance the songwriting composition in general etc and the thorough understanding of music theory and all that kind of stuff but they've also recorded it well there is not a single resonant frequency in this mix that sounds off a great balancing the leveling has been done incredibly well it's not over compressed there's there again there's a lot of this changes in image, energy and perceived loudness there it's just wonderful this is probably as close to a perfect track as i have reviewed in a very long time i would say this would probably be closer to like a 9 or a 9.5 i think that probably i'd go for a 9.25 or a 9.5 on this one it's very rare that I feel this strongly about a track, but I legitimately cannot see a single problem with it. I think that, um, because I, I want to cry because of how beautiful it was. I don't think I've been affected by this track in, 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 the, the, in such a long time. I don't know, maybe it's just like, I just, I just love how complete it is with the two sides of the coin, with the, the actual performance of the instruments and the sound of the vocals plus the story. It's just so, so damn near perfect. I guess I gotta do myself a Pushu album review, don't I? <laughs> but, um, I, I, I'm so grateful I got to listen to this today. I know I've said that several times, but I, I really am. Thank you very much for watching my uh, SP Patrons video uh, for the Years of Innocence by Pushu. Hopefully you enjoyed it if you did. Please do go push you, show, show push you some love via the various social medias and a Spotify page. Stay cool, stay safe, and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As you to help more than ever, thought of crazy stuff going on in the world, and I'll catch you in the next SU Patrons video. Spider hands up. <laughs>